Welcome to the Learning Acca video course by Pact Publishing, authored by Salma Kata. I am Tess Taylor, the voiceover artist for this course. Salma has an experience in cutting-edge technologies such as TypeSafe Stack. For the past three years, she has been using TypeSafe Stack in her daily life. She has also been actively involved in working on reactive and single-page applications. Our goal for this course is to get you well acquainted with Acca, to simplify some of the most important topics in Acca, such as routers, persistence, cluster, and Acca streams, and learn how we can implement them. By the end of this course, you will be familiar with Acca actors and the ways in which they communicate with each other, how to implement Acca cluster, Acca stream, and Acca HTTP, how to test your actors. Let's take a closer look at what we will cover in this course. First, we'll be introduced to the actor model and some important concepts such as concurrency, parallelism, asynchronous, and synchronous. Next, we will explore the actors in ACA through actor components, actor lifecycle, actor system, and what are the different supervision strategies. We will also cover the relationship between parent and child actors. And of course, we will create actors and talk to them. We'll play with different types of actors, such as router actor, finite state machine actor, and persistent actor. Then, we will work with ACA cluster, how actors join a cluster, how to log metrics about each node in the cluster, how to use the load balancer, cluster singleton, and cluster sharding. In the next section, we will talk about different styles to test actor business logic. We will test a basic actor, parent-child actors, finite state machine, and multi-node. Next, we will work with ACA streams. We will get introduced to stream terminologies and implement reactive tweets. We will also work with graph stream, stream IO, and of course, introduce how to test streams. We will then work with ACA HTTP. We will move ahead to see server-side and client-side APIs. We will implement symbol REST APIs and also test them. As we move ahead, we'll work around common actor patterns that are useful, elegant and instructive, such as balancing workload across nodes, throttling messages, shutdown patterns, ordered termination, scheduling periodic messages, To follow along, the course assumes that you are familiar with the fundamentals of Scala, so that you have no issues understanding the examples shared throughout. Now that you have a roadmap for our journey in the course, let's get started!